We're breaking all the rules here by making this video because the Oilers are playing the Canadians in about 45 minutes-ish. But because we have ourselves the news as to who is going to be the starting goaltender in said game against the Canadians, cough cough, it's going to be Stuart Skinner, this opens the door for us to talk about the other guy. The one who has been in a very interesting spot as a member of the Oilers, and a guy who definitely has not been performing to the standard we know he is capable of. It's yet another video about goaltenders after Luongo, Demko, Luongo, Cal Peterson, Markstrom. Today we're going over to Edmonton and we're talking about Jack Campbell and whether or not he could be sent down to the AHL. This comes to us from Jason Gregor on the DFO Rundown Show. Take a look at what was said here. The entire segment is available on Twitter. And pretty much Gregor goes out there and says that Jack Campbell needs to find his game. And how when it comes to Cal Peterson and Jack Campbell, the two situations aren't all too different. Now, Cal Peterson, we had talked about him the other day. When he did get sent down to the Ontario Reign, he's making $5 million a year. And he's going to be doing that till the end of 2020, was it? 2025, I believe. He's got a three-year deal at 5 AAV, so him getting sent down was a pretty big deal. Gregor's main point is that Jack Campbell is kind of in a similar boat, and when it comes to the optics, who cares about the optics? Everybody knows what's going on here. Now, for those who are unaware, Jack Campbell is a 30-year-old goaltender making $5 million a season till the end of 2027. He signed on with the Oilers as a free agent to be their number one guy. Because, as a member of the Toronto Maple Leafs, he was actually more than good. He had a 921 save percentage in 2020-2021, had a 934 save percentage in that series against the Canadians, and then, last year, he had a 914 save percentage in 49 games, and, unfortunately, an 897 save percentage against Tampa Bay. However, he wasn't really the problem against Tampa Bay. It was just a very high-scoring series from both sides. Even Vasilevsky was kind of shaky in that first series against Toronto. This year, though, Jack Campbell, in 13 games played for the Edmonton Oilers, has a 4-1-2 goals against average and an 8-7-2 save percentage. That is not good in the slightest. And as a result, you have yourselves all the speculation and all the talk going on about Campbell and how he's been slumping and how he's been doing this and how he's been doing that. And combined with the idea that Jack Campbell is always talking to the media and he's calling himself out because he's been always that type of guy to do so, he's a very sensitive fellow, it appears. And even when he was on Toronto, there'd be interviews that he would do where he talks about how bad his own play was, and it looked like he was going to cry, honestly, sometimes. He's a really mentally tough on himself type of guy. And so seeing him go through what it is that he's going through, where he is playing very poorly, I mean, a four goals against average is not good in the slightest. Gregor is pretty much saying, hey, send him down to the AHL. Like, nobody's going to claim him because everybody knows what's going on. The guy is not performing well. He needs to find his game, and he will probably be able to do that if he plays a stint with the Bakersfield Condors. In fact, this is what Elliot Friedman said on the recent Jeff Merrick show. He said that perhaps the Oilers should consider telling Jack Campbell to take a break from talking to the media because he's so hard on himself and he beats himself up. It might be for the best. For argument's sake, Friedman brings up what the Kings did with Kyle Peterson, sending him down to the AHL, and asks, would any other NHL team consider doing that? Elliot Friedman says if, and I repeat if, the Oilers did that, Campbell is not getting claimed. They wouldn't have to worry about that. And so, hey, it popped up again here. I didn't, look, I'm going to be honest, I didn't read the Friedman tweet before we actually talked about it here on the channel, so... I'm kind of surprised that both Gregor and Friedman said the same thing, that yeah, no, Campbell could get sent down on waivers and nobody is going to claim him. Everybody knows what's happening here. If you want an extended look, this is what Gregor wrote about when it comes to Campbell and his performance on OilersNation.com. The article will be linked in the description. When a goalie struggles, it is very noticeable. Pucks go through him. Routine saves look difficult when there's no place to hide. When a forward is in a scoring drought, he can still contribute with a strong forecheck or be sound defensively and find ways to feel good about his game. When a goalie isn't making saves, there is no other outlet to gain confidence or help the team win. 38 goalies have played over 10 games, and Campbell ranks 37th in save percentage at 872. Only Cal Peterson is worse, and the Kings just put him through waivers and send him to the AHL. Campbell is 38th in goals against average. John Gibson is 37th at 3.99. Campbell and Skinner play behind the same forwards and defense, but they have vastly different numbers via sports logic. 
take a look at this. Goals saved above expected. So this is the same stat that we had talked about in the video yesterday about Jacob Markstrom. Jack Campbell is last in the NHL amongst all goalies over 10 games played with a negative 14.4 ranking. This means that when you take a look at the quality of the shots that Campbell is facing, some of them are good shots from the tight slot, others are really bad shots from center ice. When you take a look at all the quality of these shots, Jack Campbell has allowed 14 more goals than he probably should have. You want a positive ranking for goals saved above expected because what that means is that you're actually saving shots that should be goals. Campbell is doing the opposite. He's letting in goals that shouldn't really be goals and he's last in the league because of it. Goals against average, he is last as well. Save percentage, he's second last. Slot save percentage, second last. And inner slot save percentage, he is also third last there. And I know a lot of people are going to go out there and say that, hey, Campbell was always kind of like this. In Toronto, he's playing in front of a team, or not in front of, behind a team that's a lot better defensively. And so going over to Edmonton, this is where he's going to be exposed for what he really is, because the Oilers are a lot worse than Toronto when it comes to defensive play. And that argument definitely reigns true. But at the same time, the question is, how far do you go? Because Campbell had some really good stints with Toronto, and he looked so clutch. I think it's kind of unfair to say that the reason Campbell was good in Toronto was because Toronto was good in front of him. Campbell himself was also talented enough to justify being played the amount of times that he was and get the production that he was able to get. So... Right now, it's a combination, I guess you could say, of both of those things, but it also happens to be a slump. The guy is going through a rough patch, and via Gregor's article, it's apparent that he is trending in the wrong direction. In October, he made six starts, played 308 minutes, and posted an 888 save percentage with a 389 goals against. From November 1st, he made seven starts, played 419 minutes, and had a worse save percentage and GAA in the process. Gregor then writes about towards the middle part of this article that the most likely option you're probably going to see is that the Oilers are going to split time with Skinner and let Campbell play his way out of the funk. However, there is an argument brought up that says, hey, they should probably just send him down to the AHL. Why not? And at the same time, I feel like with the Oilers and the way they're playing, obviously you know this team has a lot more to show for it. You have all the stuff about McDavid and Dreisaitl scoring points, but nobody else doing anything. And I mean, for a team that's supposed to be taking that step up after making the third round last year, you're definitely not putting yourselves in a good position to be doing that with the way the rest of your squad is playing. And in fact, you made it to the third round last year with Mike Smith and Miko Koskinen. Like... They sucked. I'm sorry. They were so bad. And like, Campbell is unfortunately performing worse. So where exactly the Oilers go from here? I feel like Stuart Skinner getting the start tonight. It's the good move. You're playing against Montreal, a team that's not really all too great. But at the same time, they do have some swagger behind their shots. So for Montreal, I mean, it'll be interesting to see what happens. I mean, the game is going to be on in about 45 minutes anyway. So Oilers fans are going to stop watching YouTube videos about Jack Campbell and end up watching that game, which means that this video's lifespan is probably only going to be for that 45 minutes. But I guess there are some other fans around the NHL that could get a kick out of this video especially Leafs fans, but then again, they're playing too at 4 p.m. PST. But either way, talk to the guys your thoughts about Jack Campbell and the idea of sending him down to the AHL. Do you think that would be the right move? He's been on such a slump, even worse than Jacob Markstrom that we had talked about yesterday. Markstrom called himself out. He said that he sucks at hockey right now. Jack Campbell has always been super hard on himself too, so I have no doubt that he's probably feeling internally somewhat of a similar type of conclusion there, but if you're an Oilers fan, what do you think is the right move here? Continue to split the starts, give Skinner the net full time, or do you just send Campbell down to the AHL flat out, say, hey man, look, Cal Peterson went through, he didn't get claimed, we're thinking the same thing's gonna happen with you. So, go down to Bakersfield, play a whole bunch of games, be good, and then we'll call you back up when you're ready. Thoughts in the comment section below, I hope you enjoyed this video, and... Bye.